Hi and welcome back to my channel. How you can use HTML sanitizer to create more secure web applications. Here I have a register new book page that user can add a new book with a name and description and description can be in HTML. The problem is with HTML and you can always add a tag like a script and that is uh, highly risky uh, so i have some html tags along with a script here and uh, in this here script i am showing an alert uh, let's see what happens when a user comes to our uh, website and checks the details for harry potter so i click on details and you can see that the script is running and now we are vulnerable to cross-site scripting attacks so how is this working let's go to our details page here i am using html row and html row encodes this string which contains the script tag and shows it to the user as it is uh, your website's HTML code and as we just saw that can be highly dangerous so how we can solve the problem first uh, let's remove the HTML row and let's find a way to show HTML without using HTML row so I come in here and let's add an HTML string and let's call it HTML description and HTML description is new HTML string and book description so let's replace this with HTML disk and let's save and let's run the project again the application is running let's click on details and we still have the problem with security but the HTML part is working we can see the bolds and italics and everything else and that user can put here in register book so HTML string didn't solve our security problem but it is a good reminder that the content in this property is HTML and whenever you have HTML you need to sanitize and make sure it is safe and then try to show it to the user One of the best packages to manage HTML sanitization is HTML sanitizer. The source code is available on GitHub, but also you can download it using this package. Let's go here and install the package. And now uh, let's use the sanitizer first we need a new instance of sanitizer which is new html sanitizer then uh, we have a sanitized content and it is coming from sanitize sanitizer and sanitize method and and the data we are going to sanitize is this book description and here we have the sanitized version so that's it let's save everything and let's run the project again okay let's go to details and voila this time we don't see the malicious 
alert and seems like the sanitizer has removed the script tag from this content and that's exactly how stream sanitizer works it has a white list of uh, tags and attributes that are allowed to be used and any other tags that are not in the list would be removed of course you can customize it but usually these are the ones that are safe and you can always show them to the user by no means this will guarantee your web application safety but uh, at least it is a move forward towards having a more secure web application so whenever you are working with html data don't forget to use sanitizer and clean before use thanks for watching see you soon